Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another power supply to repair. This is the same exact model as the previous one we repaired. So it's HP power supply and the model number is PS-4241-9HA. The previous one was 9HB, but I think it will be the same. So let's have a look together and see what's wrong with this power supply. Uh, before we start, one of the viewers asked me about this purple wire, the standby voltage wire, and he said why we have 11.6 volt there, why it's not 5 volts. And he, uh, he said, can you clarify this anomaly for me? Of course, it's not anomaly, brother. It's what the power supply is designed to do. If you look to this label here, you can see the output voltage is output voltage is so we have plus 12 volts main and it is 14 amps we have plus 12 volts 0.1 cpu 12 amps we have plus 12 volts sp which means standby 1.3 amps and we have minus 12 volts 0.15 amps so these are the outputs we should see on these wires. So it's not anomaly, it's what the power supply is designed to do. Okay, let's take it apart and see what's wrong with this one this time. Okay, so we are in. Let's inspect and see if we have, I can see some uh, some carbon deposits here so it seems that something is exploded here uh, yeah exactly that I see is damaged that standby voltage I see is damaged and also that resistor I can see it damaged this resistor over there this is the resistor that provides the power to this IC and they both are damaged. So let's take the motherboard out and uh, replace those two components, the IC and that resistor. Okay, so the board is out. Let's let's take that. Let me take this wire first. Okay, so I think even the fuse will be damaged. Let's check the the bridge rectifier if we have any shorts. So we have. Yeah, the bridge rectifier is good, the AC side is good, the DC side is also good. So I think that IC, the standby voltage IC is the only issue and that resistor. I think even the, the maybe even the fuse is good. Yeah, the fuse is good. So we only need to take this resistor, this resistor and that IC over there. I think I will take these wires. Okay, so it's free now. We can desolder this resistor and that IC. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the IC, and as you can see, it's all exploded. Let's take this resistor now. And here is the resistor. This resistor should be 2.2 ohms. Okay. Let me clean the board. Okay, so this IC is, I don't know the marking of it. I can look at the previous video to see the marking because a piece of it is lost with the marking on it it's not here before we change these The diode and the resistor. Let's try and test those diodes next to next to this IC. Yeah, this one is good. And the other one is also good. We have another one here. And this one is also good. Let's test the output diode yeah also good so i think it's just this i think it's just this ic and the resistor what's fault on what's faulty on this power supply okay let me look what ic is this on my previous video so we can replace it okay so the previous power supply has this ic which is tny 279pg ic and this is 18 watt ic the one i have is this one tny 280pg and it's 20 watt ic so it's a better one so let's replace it and uh, see if we can turn on this power supply Okay, we need a resistor, 2.2 ohms resistor, and here is the resistor, let's install it. Okay, so let's try it. Let me connect the, the fan connector. And let's try it now. We'll keep it like that. Okay, let's connect the power cord. And 
and let's turn on the power okay the power is on the fan the the lamp did not flash at all which is not a good sign actually but let's test do we have the standby voltage or let's check the green wire so the green wire has five volts yes so let's short this let me put first these wires on this connector okay and now let's short the green wire and the black wire and yes it does work it does work and we have only 10 volts I think we have a problem with this big capacitor because of the lamp is flashing a lot and the voltage is not stable Let me test the standby voltage. Standby 11.6, which is good. The verbal wire. But I think this capacitor, the big capacitor, needs to be checked. Let me turn off. Okay, so it's off. Let's check the voltage on this big capacitor. Nothing, no, nothing at all. Zero volts. So I think this capacitor is bad actually. Let's take it out. Okay, so here is the capacitor. Let me clean these holes. Okay, let's see this capacitor. So how much does this capacitor read? It reads 15 nanofarads, which is way low. It should be 220 microfarads, 420 volts. So it reads 50.2 nanofarads. Let's try this. So 400 volts should be 220, around 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So this one reads 0 OL nothing at all okay let me bring another meter let's use this meter this 
this does not fit correctly let's let me bring the ones that came with it okay let's turn on uh, we have how much 220 microfarad we need to go to this range let's see how much this LCR tester will give us nothing at all zero if I go to this range 200 microfarads nothing 20 microfarads 0 0.02 and two microfarads 0 0.1 200 nanofarads 11.5 yeah 11.5 11 nanofarads 11 nanofarads it should be set to this range which is 2000 microfarads because this capacitor is more than this range which which is 200 microfarads so we should set it to 2000 microfarads and test this capacitor but this capacitor do, does not read anything yeah zeros and even the lcr meter does not did not show us anything so i think this capacitor is toast and this is the reason that ic exploded this one so let's find a replacement and uh, replace it so here is 180 microfarads 450 volts capacitor let's test it i think this one will do i would replace this one with this one so let's test first this one so in 200 microfarad range we should be able to read this capacitor because it's 180 microfarads and as you can see it straight away reads 190 uh, 69 169 microfarads this one shows nothing yeah so if we test it using this LCR or I mean ESR tester it reads 0 0.047 which is a good capacitor and if we test it with the fluke it should read the same hundred and seventy three microfarads so this capacitor is toast let's replace it and see if this power power supply will be working uh, correctly this time Okay, so let's test it again. I'll keep it like this this time. Okay, let me bring again the camera, the lamp, and let's turn on. 
and the lamp this time flashed, which means that the capacitor stored some energy, some charges, which is good. And now if we short these wires, the green to black, it should run without having that issue from before. And yeah, as you can see, the lamp is not flashing anymore. And we have a stable 12.31 volts. And the fan is also running smoothly. Yeah. So it's good now. And we can connect it directly to the mains and see if it will run correctly. Let me take this wire and here is this cord from the mains directly and let's test it it's on nothing exploded let's try and turn it on and yeah it does work with no issues at all so we managed to fix this power supply by replacing one capacitor the main capacitor the standby IC and the resistor that feeds the standby IC so those what are faulty on this power supply so if you like this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching and I hope I can see you in another video. Thank you so much.